Hey everyone, welcome back to my side chaining techniques course. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up what we colloquially call in the mixing world, the dynamic delay trick. So essentially what this is, is you're going to add a delay to a vocal, but rather than having that delay just going at full volume the entire time, you duck the delay with a compressor so that you hear more of the delay in the gaps between the phrases. What you can also add to this is a dynamic ducking effect on reverb, and then you can also combine the two. So I'm gonna show you the basic delay trick, I'll show you how to do it with reverb, and then I'll show you how to combine the two in this video. Okay, so in this demo project, I've got a lead vocal part and some electric keys. I do have an aux track routed up here with a delay on it, but I do have the uh, send bypassed right now. So let's just give the vocals and keys a listen uh, completely dry. And if we go So I'm going to unmute the delay track. I'm gonna bring in the tape delay. Tape delay right now has a eighth note dotted delay on it. And then I'm going to unbypass the send that's going over to that aux track. And let's listen to what this delay sounds like with no ducking. And if we go So it's a really cool delay effect. It sounds really nice, but it's just clashing with the lead vocal. So we want to get the delay out of the way when she's not singing. So you can do this with the noise gate or the compressor. I think it sounds better with the compressor. The noise gate might work in some situations, but I'm going to go ahead and add the compressor on here. And then all I need to do is go up to the side chain input, go to audio, and we're gonna use the lead vocal as our side chain source. I'm gonna go to the side chain section. You can use RMS or peak for this. I'm gonna use peak. And you can also choose to use the filter or not. I'm gonna go ahead and listen to the filter. Really what I want is the mid range, the meat of the vocal to trigger the ducking. I don't want the high frequencies or the consonants or the sibilance in her voice to trigger the ducking. So I'm gonna use a band pass for this. And if we go, And then I'll turn off auto gain, turn off auto release, and we'll dial in a setting that works. And if we go, from dust to dawn, until my heart explodes. So that's just the delay signal. Let's hear the vocal in as well. And if we go, I want to see your face from dust to dawn until my heart explodes. Don't want to let it go. And if you want even more ducking, just pull up the ratio quite a bit. And another thing I can do is I can try bringing down the low pass filter a little bit so I'm getting less of the consonants and sibilance in the delay. And if we go, I want to see your face from dust to dawn until my heart explodes. Don't want to let it go. So much better. Again, without the compressor in, and if we go the dry signal and the delay are totally colliding with each other and with the compressor in we're getting that delay out of the way and if we go Now, another thing you can do here is you can add a reverb after this if you want a little bit more of a softer delay effect. But another way I've done this is to add a reverb on a separate auxiliary channel strip. And so I'll make this go to bus two. I'll go ahead and pull up the send amount. 
and I'll call this track Reverb. I'll go ahead and add Space Designer to this. And let's use like a really long plate delay. So we'll use a large space. Let's go ahead and use the shimmering plate. And on its own, that reverb sounds like this. And if we go on surface from dust to dawn. It's a really nice sounding reverb, but again, maybe it's a little too intense. Um, but in between the phrases, we want to hear that much reverb. You know, we could just pull the volume down on it, but that's going to uh, pull everything down. Let's go ahead and duck the reverb just like we did with the delay. So I'm going to hold option and pull the compressor over to the reverb channel. By the way, right now I have the delay channel muted. And if we go. One of the tricky things about using heavy reverb is that sometimes it can throw off the perspective of a vocal or instrument, meaning that if I just throw the reverb on there as is without the compressor ducking it, it sounds like the singer is like off in the distance. Whereas when we duck the reverb, it sounds like she's closer up to us, but the effect is far away. So we're playing with that perspective and keeping the lead vocal more forward where it needs to be, but making the reverb sound like it's more pushed back in terms of perspective. That's another way to do it. And you can combine both of these together and just have two different aux tracks. And if we go And that sounds pretty great on its own, but another way to do this is you can actually feed the delay track into the reverb track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the compressor on the delay track. I'm going to pull the volume on the delay track all the way down, and I'm going to use another send going over to bus two, which is the reverb track, to feed the delay over into the reverb track. And I'm also going to put this in pre-fader mode. And the reason why I'm using pre-fader mode is because I pulled the volume all the way down. So this is going to let me blend in a little bit of the delay signal without the compressor. And then this is going to let me blend the delay into the reverb track. And if we go on surface from dust to dawn until And so now we've got these really nice, like ghostly reverb and delay tails in between the phrases with a little bit of that unaffected delay signal coming through the delay aux as well. And this technique can be expanded out for other time-based effects as well. And it also doesn't have to be used on just vocals. You can use it on guitar solos or any sort of instrumental section where you have gaps in between phrases and you don't want your time-based effects to clash with the instrumental. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.